Hi, I'm Ryan Carter. I'm the Metro Editor for the San Bernardino Sun. I'm here with Jim Steinberg, our Fontana Rialto reporter. Um, and uh, Jim, uh, today I understand that uh, several mayors met with you and uh, some editors over at the uh, Daily Bulletin, our sister newspaper today, to talk about redevelopment. Wanted you here to talk to us and our readers about kind of what came out of that meeting, what happened? Well, the, the topic of discussion was uh, what a mess cities are in, especially in this region where we're hard hit uh, with unemployment and people losing their jobs and housing foreclosures and uh, uh, city officials would, were looking for tools to help us claw our way out of this uh, uh, kind of morass we've all fallen into. and. Uh, there, there won't be economic development agencies. The, 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 the same funding group that helped build uh, Ontario Mills and the newer Victoria Gardens and uh, uh, city parks, libraries across the area that are, that are new, uh, those tools aren't going to be available thanks to uh, actions by the governor and the legislature enabling that to happen. So uh, they really, the, uh, the point of the meeting was to maybe find a direction um, to, to try and get some funds available, to try and look for new sources, and, and there really aren't any that the, the mayor's concluded. There, there really aren't other tools at their disposal. And I think Mayor Morris um, of, of San Bernardino said it very well in that, uh, you know, this was our toolbox. This, the RDA was the, the way to tap funding with, with very little city money, I'm sorry, very little city monies that uh, they could, the cities could put in a small match and they could uh, get, uh, in many cases, uh, federal and state funding and have access to the bond markets for long-term funding. Jim, why should, why should our readers care? Well, this is, this is as, as, as our readers drive around the area and we look at uh, new interchanges and we look at, again, the uh, uh, Victoria Gardens and like the, that beautiful senior center in Rancho Cucamonga and the whole park around it and the uh, beautiful library in uh, Fontana. Um, the funding source was this, this, this uh, redevelopment mm -hmm. agency mechanism it's, and it's, it's going to be gone. I mean it's essentially unraveling now. Cities are halting projects. They're going to have to be returning match money to the feds. So that's great. We, as taxpayers, we paid the federal government. We, our cities found a way to get a little of all that money back, and now they're going to have to say, "Well, we can't, we can't use it after all." And here you go, Fed. So, uh, take it back and spend it somewhere else. In an area, the Inland Empire, specifically, that's been uh, pretty hard hit by the uh, downturn in the economy, this doesn't sound good. No, it's it's absolutely awful. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, you know, one of the mayors. Um, uh, mentioned that, that even a recent job fair, which drew 2,500 people and was uh, put on by several cities, Rancho, Montana, and Ontario were uh, at least uh, some of the participants. Uh, it, was, it was, believe it or not, it was EDA funding that paid for that. So the job, so, so you're, are even, you saying that, that, that even jo a job jobs... Fair, no, even a job fair can't be done without RDA funding. I, I mean, see. a big one. Oh, the job fair itself. The job fair itself, yeah. Well, what about jobs? What about jobs in general? I mean, these well, projects, these redevelopment projects. Thousands of jobs. Thousands. Really? I think Fontana Mayor Warren was saying that uh, something like uh, for their their projects in the pipeline, they figured that you know on a short term basis they were looking at maybe six thousand jobs because as we know on big construction projects. Uh, they, they can ramp up and at, at certain points require quite a few uh, people to uh, get things done. And uh, uh, it's just a, it's a huge short-term damage to get us out. And, and long-term, it's, it's making the, our, our cities, which need to be competitive to get new business, it's, it's taking that away. We, we aren't going to have this tool. And the mayor's noted that, that states of Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, they don't have any limitations like that. So they are suddenly way more competitive. And, and so often businesses, you know, they, they, they pick an area, they think it's going to work best for them, but they're, they're looking for a little edge to uh, help with infrastructure, to build their projects, uh, um, some, you know, whether it's sewer systems or, 
or, or freeway access or even rail access in some cases. They're looking for a little help locally and frankly, our cities just don't have any well to go to. But trust me, Texas, no such problem. Arizona, Nevada, no such problem. So guess what? You know, it's a Sun Belt too. And uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's just a place that's going to be very affordable for them to, to locate in. Jim, thanks for telling us why it matters. Thank, Thank you, Ryan. You. Thanks.